Alright. Well, boys and girls. We're here to teach you blue cane. Uh, we're against Zoe, Jin, Soraka, so that's why I'm going blue cane. Uh, they have Jarvan, Silas as well. Even though they do have two, like, tanky champs, you should never really go blue red in these type of situations some people will be like oh well you need a front line oh you need cc yada 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 all that stuff um i mean i don't know i don't really i don't really believe in any of that stuff oh he actually didn't notice me i slipped away oh oh, oh. i'm kind of scared here but i think we win it yo Uh Report one minute in the game. <sighs> yeah, see I I wouldn't be able to teach you how to carry these games in high elo because uh my teams are tilty in high elo, but I don't think anyone's ever said report someone one minute in. Oh, that's that's definitely new. That's that's a new one, for, even for me. And I've been playing this one for a while. All right, so uh, we're getting a big leash from the Rango. Rango. Whoa! Talk about a big one. Whoa! Wow. Yeah. A little bit of kiting out. Mr. Jarvin's probably gonna look for early gank, so we're just gonna have to play this one cool, casual. Looks for an early gank, I'm gonna look for an invade. I'm gonna look to punish him every time he does something aggressive. That's the thing you have to do against these aggressive type junglers, is look to punish them as much as you can. We have Silas versus Rengar, but Silas had to, or Rengar had to leash, so he didn't, wasn't really able to punish as hard as he normally does. This isn't what I'd call a punish Rengar though, because he uh, didn't go deep blade and he doesn't have ignite, so he's not planning to get that early solo kill. I Safe and smart for lane, I guess. All right, so we're just gonna keep farming. I said so this is a matchup that you can punish a lot because Jarvan isn't likely to farm a lot. He's likely more to just spam ganks. So in that department, we're gonna get a little bit boned, but overall, I think we should be fine. We should be in for a good game. Okay, so mid is all. Oh, that's good, that's good. I was gonna say, if mid dies, this guy's already tilted and it blitz. Imagine what he's gonna tilt and say to me. <laughs> Gotta make sure this guy stays mentally sane, because if not, he might go a little bit too L9 on me, if you know what I mean. Oh, right, well, that's a pretty good start. 307 full clear. Hold on to my E for a second. All right, so we can count up his camps here. Yeah, red, blue. There's one bonus camp under the full three camps, so I'm probably assuming that he did. Everything but uh, Krugs and two Raptors. I don't know. The top scuttle. I'm gonna look for the dive bot. I'm gonna try and initiate it. I'll tank just because I could just walk way easily like that. Those Krugs are up, but the thing is, I want to reset immediately. Don't let her. Please, 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 please. <laughs> pay for this should have taken the krugs but whatever nice i've got a solo bolo okay so i'm gonna try and think more proactive than reactive this is a situation this is like a code red 3 and 0 jarvin he's got to get punished he can't just be allowed to farm his own camps after getting a free cuff to free kill We gotta go to his Raptors immediately and look for like a mid play, maybe a up play, something. Wait for Bali to come back. Yeah. So Jarvan should be resetting. If he just randomly comes here, that'd be weird. But I'm not gonna play it towards his weird nature. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna look to go in here. Oh, he's just got movements. As soon as I go in, she picks up fucking movement speed. Are you kidding? You know what? I think I just gotta. Oh yeah, she could do that. Oh. That's right. 
had that's right, she could just pick up my flash. She could just pick up my flash. Brilliant. Brilliant design. I wasn't doing dragon there. What the hell? Yeah, we might be looking bot. I'm looking bot first though. So he's doing the camp. I'm gonna do this. Let's see if I can just hit the slow on her. Oh my god, he got silenced. Whatever, we gotta kill. Oh, nice job, Tris. Tris played that phenomenally. Blitz, not so much. But he's autofilled, so I don't expect him to play that well. So see now, this is good. Whenever you're in this situation where the enemy jungle is getting too much done. Kind of have to look for stuff to get done. You can't just be like safe farming. If you're playing Rost, sure, because I mean naturally you'll scale. But oh, baby, wait! Oof! Oh my goodness! That is what we like to see now. Okay. So close to six here. Jeez. If I get one minion, uh, just one, just one minion, just one singular minion. One little raptor. One little raptor. Nice, that's perfect. I'm gonna make her lose two kills and die 18 more times. Mark my words. Okay, so I'm gonna mark I'm gonna chalk this up to make it more simpler for people that are beginners to Kane or just beginners to league. And we're just going to call out every good play and every bad play. So every time a bad play occurs, it's losing an objective or dying. So losing an objective or dying is a bad play. Now getting a kill or an assist and getting an objective is a good play. Towers will count as half. So lose a tower, half a bad play. Lose a tower, half a bad play. So that's one. But um... I mean, we, I try not to think about towers too much because there's a lot that goes into that lane phasing. It's not necessarily bad to lose towers, but losing objectives is bad. But the thing is, just because something's bad doesn't mean that you can't do it, right? Sometimes you have to do something bad. For the greater good of everything. Okay, so Jarvan's over there. Oh, he's right here. We're gonna look to go in. Dude, I hate that you're doing this annoying shit. God, it's so obnoxious, that champ. The worst. I do have a lot of gold in me, though, so it's not really in the world. We have a 30 CS lead. Okay, so we're going to look to farm two camps at once. So, Garvin's made four, five good plays. And one bad play. I've made three good plays. One bad play. I mean, that's pretty basic ratios. You're usually going to be down a play or two on the enemy Jong if you're playing Kane. Because, uh, for your first form. No. It's really more or less just about, like getting your form safely without inting too much, right? It's really what it all comes down to. Let her tank it. <laughs> Alright, so that should be form now. That's perfect. So, I mean, 4 ratio to 5 ratio is pretty solid for first form against a very good early game Jong. And we're not even calculating the amount of gold and XP advantage just from naturally being able to farm well. I mean, farming well and all that, it just comes you know, from understanding the game more, understanding jungle tracking. I mean, that's something I could teach you in a different entirety. 
but a lot of jungle tracking just comes natural to me because I've done it for so long. It's little things like note noting where the enemy starts, counting camps, and just continue to do that, count up. A little bit of math, but it's pretty simple math. You know? Four, four per camp. Uh, you know, notice every time they take a little CS because then you can keep track of the number. Priority. Alright, so that's a good play to make there. Wait for it to overextend. Even if I mess it up like I did, I'd still get the kill and save the tower, which is perfect. Losing Rift there is pretty tragic, but the thing is, note that I gave up things only pre-form, but now post-form, I'm going to look to just make plays instead of giving up plays, right? So, this is what we call proactive jungling. Since I already know they have the Jin, I'm just going to secure the kill on Soraka. If it's more of a close call, then I would just focus the Jin and let Soraka walk. But if you're in a situation where it's guaranteed, my, <laughs> my bot lane's going to 1v2. Yeah, obviously. Okay. So we're at six good plays, one bad play. look to get more damage six to one ratio is near perfect i mean that's that's really good forwards vision all that good stuff also important right. we're gonna look for another mid play here the two you got drag and rift oh you're right six to two you're right Forget about the rift. I could save my flash because she has to come back to me and she'll be in auto range by the time my auto's up. That's why sometimes it looks like someone flashed an auto, it's because you were in the auto range. If you're in the range and like the auto's cast, you can't stop an auto. Unless you go out of vision, then it's different. Cool. Nice. Yeah, now it's just play city. Now oh, it's just play city, boys. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on mid lane here. And Jarvan got a little bit low, but the thing is, looking for a solo on him is not ideal unless it's just a guarantee. So, I'm gonna walk to where? There you go. No, the Soraka R. Why did I flash? I don't know why I flash. Why did I do that? Overall, it's still a good play because it's just about outperforming the enemy jung. <laughs> but that was just stupid by me. Flash for damage? No, I flash again Prowler's range and then bow her, but he ulted and I Soraka R ulted. Executioner's Calling. Now, rushing Executioner's Calling is definitely a noob tactic. The thing is, if you're an assassin, you're not gonna be having to deal with healing. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to worry about healing if I'm one-shotting the people I need to one-shot. Thing is, playing an assassin, imagine yourself as a bounty hunter. I'm not gonna be focusing the Jarvan. I'm not gonna be focusing the Silas. I'm gonna be focusing the, the Jin and the Soraka. If I can't one-shot them full combo, with, like, uh, it's just like my champ would just be the worst champ out there now serpents is great because it stops the shield So eventually like when life still starts to scale when people get more defensive items. Yeah, I'll get executioner Like I'll probably get it after my next item something like that But um, yeah, most of the time it's not really that smart to even get executioners on assassins But you have to remember that there is a lot of ways people can stay alive Boom. Ah, 
Oh, wait. Wait, I was a little too far with my W there. I went all the way to the wall. I didn't mean to go all the way to the wall. Oh. I feel like even, uh, even your favorite streamer makes awful mistakes. Tyler won. But even your third favorite streamer makes awful mistakes. So yeah, I don't really have to worry about healing there, even though he's got Core Drinker and Sorokar. Sorokar didn't use R there, but I'd still one-shot him through it, because I'm that fed. Hold as much damage. I mean, you better be one-shotting people. A bit of a harassment, maybe Rengar gets us a kill. That will just hit me. Oh, Rengar does not get the kill here. I get the kill. Perfect. Much more ideal. I could be very greedy here. Uh, maybe I should let him grab me there. Yeah, I should have. I just don't want to get grabbed under tower. It's such a risky move. Up, so he said. Yeah, so I just get a knife. That was weird. My E blinked like it was gonna cancel, cause you know that's what it does when it cancels, but it didn't. It didn't cancel. That's weird. I don't know why. It did that. Okay. Oh. This game I got very fortunate, cause I just had a really good bot lane. But yeah, typically you guys should definitely notice that the huge skyrocket in like your uh, good plays versus bad plays. So I mean. Garvin's at a pretty unfortunate ratio of like, let's see, he's uh, 8 to 7, so he's really a little bit above even, and I am at a amazing 16 and 3, seen good plays, 3 bad plays, boots, you do this much damage, you don't need boots, normally get collector, no I never get collector, I think it's very bad. There's so many good options for Lethalia items, so why do you choose the worst one? On Kha'Zix I will though. Put on Kha'Zix. Oh. I liked how my ult looked right there, it just kind of blinked. <laughs> it's gonna die to the cannon. It's gonna die to the cannon. It's gonna die to the cannon. Oh uh, shit. <laughs> it warrants the Serpent's Fang. And if they have more than two shields, I usually get it. They only have one, but eh, whatever. I just pretend like they had two. I just pretend like they had two, to be honest with you. This is silver? Yeah, I said that earlier. Trying to teach people how to play in lower elo. Trying to teach you how to be self-reliant in an elo that has toxic and bad teammates. Are you a Smurfian challenger? I was earlier, but now I got off. Ah, got it. Mine. He almost tried to take the kill. WTF, Dyrus in jail? Dyrus is not in jail. GG, boys!